the symmetric group SN. The symmetric group SN is the group of permutations of the set T of integers between 1 and N. Note that by elementary set theory, we can see that SN has N factorial elements. We can describe the elements of SN by listing their action on each element of T. For instance, we can do this as below in a little matrix indicating the result of applying the element of SN to each of the integers 1 up to 6. So here our permutation sends 1 to 6, 2 to 2, 3 to 4, 4 to 3, 5 to 1, and 6 to 5. In this way we can list all six elements of S3. The first element is the identity permutation, the second element switches the elements 2 and 3 and leaves 1 fixed. This element switches 1 and 2. This one switches 1 and 3. This one rotates uh, cyclically the elements 1, 2, 3. So it sends 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 1. We call such an element a 3 cycle. <clears throat> the third element rotates them cyclically in the reverse direction, sending 1 to 3. 3 to 2, and 2 to 1. If we're going to compose two such permutations, then we can put the first permutation on the top and then list what happens to the resulting elements using the second permutation. So for instance here, this in the second permutation sends 1 to 3, sends 2 to 2, and 3 to 1. The resulting composition is then just a uh, <clears throat> the total action from top to bottom. So it sends 1 to 3, 2 to 1, and 3 to 2. This is a very uh, <clears throat> clear and explicit notation, but it's not very convenient to write out. It takes a lot of time and paper, and it's just not easy to use in complicated situations. <clears throat> so we use some simpler notation. So let's consider this permutation, the one that cyclically permutes the elements 1, 2, 3. So 1 gets sent to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 1. <clears throat> we write this as the cycle by writing just the numbers 1, 2, 3. And by this, this means the first element 1 gets sent to 2, 2 gets sent to 3, and the element at the end gets sent back to the beginning. So more generally, uh, a cycle like 1, 5, 4, 3, 6 would denote the map that sends 1 to 5, 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 6, and 6 to 1. So in our old notation, this would look like this. 1 here is getting sent to 5. Notice that 2 is not involved in the cycle, so it would just be fixed. 3 sent to 6, 4 to 3, 5 to 4, 6 to 1. Then in this notation, we can describe much more succinctly the six elements of S3. They're just the identity, the transposition that flips 1 and 2, the transposition that flips 2 and 3, the transposition that flips 1 and 3, and the three cycles 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2. Notice that not every element is a cycle. <clears throat> For instance, in S4, the permutation here is the product of two disjoint cycles, 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. So it flips 1 and 3 and it flips 2 and 4. We write the product of <coughs> two or more cycles in this fashion. Um, we compose 2 and 3 with 1, 3, 4 by <coughs> in the following fashion. 1 gets sent to 3, and then we see what happens to 3 under the second uh, permutation. 3 gets sent to 2. So the end result is that 1 gets sent to 2. And then 2 is fixed by the first right-hand permutation, but gets sent to 3 by the second one. So overall, 2 will get sent to 3. 3 will get sent to 4 by the first 
permutation and 4 is fixed by the second permutation. So 3 ends up gets sending to 4. And then finally we can check that we've done things right by looking what happens to 4. 4 gets sent to 1 by the first permutation and then it's fixed by the left-hand permutation. So 4 does indeed get sent to 1. Now let's look at S4, which is a slightly more complicated job, job group. It has 24 elements, 4 factorial elements. Let's have a look at what kind of elements they are and how many of each kind there are. Well, there's certainly a lot of transpositions. For each pair of numbers out of the set 1, 2, 3, 4, we have a transposition that flips those two elements and leaves the other two fixed. So the number of these is exactly the way of choosing the number of ways of choosing two elements from four, which is four choose two or six. And here are those six elements. <clears throat> these six transpositions split into three pairs of disjoint cycles, such as one, two, and three, four. So the two elements one, two are disjoint from the two elements three, four. When we multiply these together, we get three products of disjoint transpositions uh, of the kind we were talking, to, uh, talking about earlier. So 1, 2, 3, 4 flips 1 and 2, and it flips 3 and 4. Similarly, we have 1, 3, 2, 4, and 1, 4, 2, 3. Each choice of three elements from 1, 2, 3, 4 yields two possible three cycles such as 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2. So the number of these is 4 choose 3, which is 4, times 2, which is 8. And we can, again, list them explicitly as below. Finally, there are, four, there are six 4 cycles. <clears throat> How do we know this? Well, <clears throat> we have to organize the 4 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 into a cycle. We can always begin, we can always assume that we begin the cycle with 1, and so that leaves us three choices for the second position, two choices for the third position, and no more choices for the fourth position. So the number of those is 3 factorial or 6. So this gives us 24 elements in all in S4. The identity, the six transpositions, the three products of disjoint transpositions, the eight three cycles, and the six four cycles.